Welcome back to Domingo Live. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros. Todo el mundo ya sabe que a mí me encanta comer. You know I love to eat, right? Especially los antojitos mexicanos. So Rudy, as you know, has been producing a series of reports highlighting mi gente, nuestra gente, those who made up wonderful, who, those who make up our wonderful coastal bin region, ¿verdad? So this being National Hispanic Heritage Month, celebrando nuestras tradiciones, he went out to celebrate one of the oldest culinary delicacies in our culture, chicharrones. <laughs> They've always been part of our culture. I remember growing up and my grandpa going out there and killing the pig and cooking the chicharrones. The Hispanics, we love chicharrones, especially on Sunday morning. Dígame, ¿qué tan sabroso? What exactly is deserving of all the yummies and the mmm mm sounds of delight? I just know it's pork fat. That's it. That's all I know. But it's good and it goes down real well. That's it. Folks, meet the chicharron, singular, or chicharrones if there are more than one. Fried pork skins attached to the meteor cuts rather than just rind. These finger-licking morsels are precisely what generate all the yums and OMGs. Chicharrones can be made from various cuts of pork. But in the case of the Chicharron Man at the Corpus Christi Trade Center, these tiny chunks come from only one cut of meat. Uh, Meet Sergio Resendez, who set up shop just outside the Trade Center and right under the big flag. Every weekend, Sergio and his grandsons, Alonso and Robert, set up the tents, the pots, and the magic that goes into making the chicharrones. And dare I say, they're selling like, well, hot chicharrones. She just said that she wanted like $100 worth of chicharrones for her whole family. <laughs> Sergio says he could have picked a myriad of snacks to sell, from snow cones to nachos, but picked the often overlooked chicharron for two reasons tradition and out of necessity. Well, a couple of years when the COVID hit, everything got slow. So the company got slow. So to make extra cash, so I started that on my own slowly about four or five years ago. At first, Sergio took up space inside the trade center and cooked the chicharrones out back. Sales were okay. But then he came up with the idea of moving out front to give folks a closer look at how they're made. Add to it the smell that wafts through the parking lot, and bam, instant success. We start serving them, and as soon as they come on, they're going. They don't get a chance to get caught or nothing. And Sergio's making sure the tradition and entrepreneurship is being passed down. The second they take that first bite, whenever they want a sample, they just start loving it, and yeah, it's just... It's cool how seeing everyone just starts loving them after one single bite. The finger food snacks origin come from Andalusia and Canarias in Spain. Then it made its way to Latin America. Yo soy de Venezuela. De Venezuela. Y en Venezuela también hacen chicharrón. Sí, también hacemos el chicharrón. Igual por eso lo vine a comprar hoy. Popular pretty much any place you find Latinos, including the southwestern United States, but particularly right here in the coastal bend where the love of chicharrones is strong. Hey, do you have a special uh, way you like to eat it? Con salsa, limón, and a little bit of salt. All right, Rudy, that was amazing. I'm even hungrier now. Uh, our amazing, detailed, sweet and thoughtful producer, Iris, brought some chicharrones. They're still warm. Uh, I like my chicharrones with uh, salsa and guacamole, so I'm gonna have to share this with the Domingo Live staff. Okay, I'm just viendo con hambre, okay. We're gonna continue the show. Thank you so much, Rudy, that was awesome.